Just 31 days into the election, Border Patrol agents meeting with Donald Trump today announced that the administration is trying to fast track illegals on the path to citizenship, basically so they can get out and vote in November. And they say they have proof. Immigration is so tied up with trying to get uh, the people that are in the waiting list hurry up and get them their uh, immigration uh, status corrected, make them citizens Why? Why so they can go ahead and vote before the election. And, and for us to... It's a big statement, fellas. I mean, to, to, to do that... I'm sure you're not going to write it. To me, that's a message. That's huge. They're letting people pour into the country so they can go and vote. We've got Border Patrol agent Sean Moran. He joins me now via phone. Uh, do you have any proof of this, sir? Yeah, actually, uh, Fox News reported on it uh, just a few weeks ago where CIS uh, management sent out emails to their people saying we need to fast track the naturalization um, process so that we can get people uh, out to, to vote. Uh, this isn't, I just want to clarify, this isn't for illegal aliens to be made citizens. This is for people that have uh, applied and uh, are going through the process, but CIS is now uh, offering up overtime and doing whatever is necessary to get as many people naturalized as possible. And we're concerned that corners are going to be cut and that background checks won't be done and that you may have some people that uh, may have red flags or criminal histories that are made into citizens. Uh, and also there's an issue of uh, voter fraud breaking out in Indiana. More than half the counties there are being probed. Um, Virginia and Philadelphia. Is it, let me ask you this, is it an open secret among uh, Border Patrol agents that basically white uh, administrations basically try to fast track illegal immigrants to become voters? Is that an open secret? Well, again, it's not uh, illegal immigrants. It's people that have uh, immigrated here legally, but you still need to be vetted. You still need to have uh, criminal checks done on you to make sure that you are the, the type of person that qualifies to be a U.S. citizen. Uh, but if you are getting pressure from your supervisor and you're getting pressure from the administration to uh, fast track all these people, there's the potential that corners will be cut and uh, mistakes will be made. Yeah, that's my question. Have you heard about this before? Is this talked about among you guys that this is an issue? A absolutely. This happened in 1986 when uh, Congress passed amnesty. It happened in 1996 during uh, immigration adjustment. Uh, and you had people that were naturalized as U.S. citizens. And the, the process to denaturalize someone who is a, a criminal and does not qualify is uh, very lengthy and cumbersome. Sean, we've got a new report, too, corroborating the evidence. And this one comes from the New York Times. President Obama quietly delaying thousands of deportation cases, letting more than 56,000 to remain in the country legally for several more years. The deportation shift, described in interviews with immigration lawyers, federal officials, and current and former judges, has been occurring without public attention for months. What do you make of that? Uh, again, uh, we have gone soft on immigration enforcement in this country. Uh, the Border Patrol has been turned into uh, glorified Walmart breeders. And uh, unfortunately, we are not being allowed to do our job. The vast majority of people that we encounter now end up walking out the front door of Border Patrol stations. Or even worse, they're given money and bus tickets to go into the interior of the United States. And most of them will never show up for any type Who of Who gives them the money hearing. and the bus tickets? Uh, the, the U.S. Uh, taxpayers. So they're basically handed that at the at the control centers. Is that it? That that is absolutely uh, true. You sound really frustrated. Uh, you know, we he keep hearing the success rate of catch catching uh, illegal immigrants at the border, and you know, one success rate was 81 percent are caught, but in reality, it looks like 54 percent are actually caught, and that comes from Homeland Security, right? You know, and that, that number might be high. I, I laughed at uh, the chief of the Border Patrol when he testified that it was 81 percent. I, I knew there was no way. We, we estimate that maybe we catch one out of three overall. But uh, DHS likes to uh, mess with the numbers and use these complicated metrics. The most important thing is how many people are getting away from us, and that's a number they don't like to disclose because it shows just how ineffective we're being. Uh, because we're, we're restricted by policy and we're not allowed to go do our jobs. Wow, so one in three. Sir, you know what, Sean Moran, we do thank you for your service to our country. We really appreciate it.